What up G's? Welcome back to Pro Cycling Major 2020, the stage number 5 and final stage of the Criterium du Dauphiné with EF on Pro Cycling Major 2020. And it's it's a big stage, but I will stop you right there. If you haven't seen yesterday's episode, post this, open a new tab, youtube.com forward slash black stage 4 of the Dauphiné. Watch it, then come back. Because Things happened, and I just recorded it. Um, I don't think it's sane for me to keep recording after what happened, but obviously, I have to. <laughs> nah, but on, it was mad. It, it was mad, and I, I'm still, I still don't know what happened, but we'll move on. Uh, we'll move on with this final stage between Mejev and Mejev. A lot of points once again available for the mountain classification. Kyle Kangat will try to be in the breakaway. I'm just praying for this man to have a good day. Um, but we've got the Côte de Dormancy, la Côte, uh, le Col de Rome, sorry, le Col de la Colombière, Col des Aravis once again, Col de la Frasette, Côte de Dormancy, and Côte de Cordon. Once again, we're in Mejev. We were in Mejev yesterday as well. Uh, we nearly, I mean, we, we beat the group sprint, so that was a, a good thing for us. We can still fight for that GC lead, uh, win, and I didn't think I'd say that, but we are within a shot, and we're going to take it. Plus two for Uran, minus one for Kangat, and he's starting at the back of the peloton. Ah, it's going to be tough. The Polka Dodgers is going to be tough to obtain. Really, really tough. 10 second bonifications at the end of the stage. If I could just get a 9 second lead on Mikel Landa and win the stage... I'll be winning this race. Sur la masken. Attack already from Dan Martin and Guillaume Martin. Oh, just to confuse me even more. Alex Lutsenko. Tish Benut. Omar Freyle. Let me guess. Pozo Ivo. Yep. Quintana. Yep. Uh, Kruziga. No. Boas Nagen. Pierre Roland. Yes. Mikel Landa. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see what, uh, what, what the boys can do. 147 kilometers. We'll try and send the Kangat in the breakaway. But seeing his current position in the peloton, not convinced he's going to do anything. Right, no one's in the break for the first climb. So, we're going to see what happens. I'm going to pace hard with Hugh Carthy. Like, genuinely pace hard. Dan Martin is in a good position, but he could be in a better place, if I'm, if I'm going to be honest. Which is why he's trying to uh, come back on the right-hand side of the road. There he goes. There goes Dan Daniel Martin. Come on, Daniel, I know you've got the legs. I hope you do. You don't. You, you clearly won't have the legs. At least top four? Nope. You still finished behind Hugh Carthy as well. Solid! 16 points behind. Yeah, we're done. Jackie got dropped from the breakaway. So did Kangal, by the way. Uh, Dan Martin on his own ahead with Puzo. I mean, not on his own, but in a world of his own. Puzo and Richie Port trying to stain the will of the uh, of the Irish rider. And to be fair, they're, they're holding on quite well. Fair play to uh, to the both of them. And if I could fucking focus on Richie Port, thank you. Richie even overtaking Dan Martin. Go on. I saw a double attack in the peloton from, I think, Nere Quintana and uh, Bargill. Maybe I'm completely wrong. I'm guessing... Now they're here. They're here. They're, they're well into the air. Uh, you've got the Cofidis boys and the Arkia boys here. Big up France. And points at the summit of the Col de Rome are going to be for one of these three Donnies. I'm going to have a, a little bet on uh, on Richie Port. Although Pozzo Vivo seems to have taken the lead. There goes Dominico Pozzo Vivo. Stonks. And we've got a withdrawal. Leonard Kemna has crashed and uh, is going to say goodbye to the peloton a bit earlier. A bit before his teammates. Chris Room also on the ground. Uh, not the best of week for uh, for Christopher Frim. Okay. Uh, Hugh Carthy is out of energy. Tanel Kangat, there's no real point, is it? Who joined? Roman Bardem made the comeback on the group ahead. Wow. Aye, nice one. Props. Nice one, boss man. Uh, Hugh Carthy is with Nicolas A. He's going to get dropped in a few seconds. Indeed he is. Fine. At, at, at this point, I don't even care. Rhythm in the peloton. Uh, in, in one word, mad. It was 10 minutes before the start of the Colombière, and at the summit of the Zaravis, it's now 5 minutes, and TJ Van Garderen is struggling to keep up, but he should be able to maintain himself in the leading group, which is absolutely perfect. 
Right, the Peloton did did slow down for uh, for a bit though. Let's be real. Uh, let's have Uran and TJ recovering some energy. Obviously, TJ able to descend like an absolute pull. Uh, so he's probably going to get dropped or crash. 6.15 is the gap for the breakaway. On his own, Quintana, then Richie Port and Roman Bardet. What happened to Dan Martin? He's in E3, in P5 right now. Okay. Crash in the Peloton, Tony Galopin. Big L. Surprised he didn't bring um, TJ Van Garderen with him. Uh, any signs of a, of a withdrawal, potentially, for uh, for the Frenchman? Nope, he is back on his bike. Nice one. Congratulations, Mr. Galopin. Two climbs left in uh, this fifth stage of the Dauphiné Libéré. I mean, two, two uh, real HC and then the, mount, the, the, the summit finish. But we've got some attacks in the breakaway. Ten riders at the front. Jack Haig to get three points, uh, but Dan Martin is officially going to win this classification. No one can mathematically come back at him. The only way Dan Martin loses this is if he withdraws. Uh, and let's not wish uh, this thing to uh, to happen on the uh, on the Irishman. He he deserves the jersey. He was by far the best, and he deserves it. Uh, and obviously, I'll uh, I mean, I'll happily trade the Polkadot jersey for for the yellow one. But to get the yellow one, I need to drop this man right there, who's so probably somewhere along the... There we go, there he is. Man like Michelanda. I'm going to come at you, boss man. Attack. Julianoth Philippe attacks 19 kilometers until the end, though. That's far, you know. That's far from the line. Really is. Really is far. Buchmann is the one chasing him. Interesting stuff from Emmanuel Buchmann to be uh, taking responsibilities despite him being like 11th. Surprising. Barguil and Nicolai, they dropped themselves. Are we going to see a French alliance? Definitely not. Uh, are we going to see a TJ Van Garderen? Not. Oh my god. What are you lot doing? Why are you two dropping? Like, what? Why? Attack from Adam Yates, Garen Thomas, Ala Philippe again. Okay. Roglic is starting to. To see that there might be a slight issue right now with his plan. Uh, his plan being... Uh, I don't know what his plan is. Because he's 5 minutes down and his leader is 2 or 6 behind. TJ man. You're pacing seven. No, you're pacing 89 and you're getting dropped. <laughs> when Uran is pacing 83 and he's fine. Ah. Brilliant. Alright. Let's not pace for a second. Let's recover energy in uh, in the wheels of Tadej Pogacar and Mikel Landa. Let's let uh, Thibaut Pino work, sure. Yeah, that, that, that works. Who's in the lead? Romain Bardet on his own. Quintana struggling. Then we've got Lutsenko Mulberger. They're all dead. It's, let's, let, I mean, let's be honest. They're, they're all gone. Head's gone. Body's gone. And for now, Alaphilippe's gone. <laughs> Alaphilippe is gone and is on the course to potentially take the win in this Dauphiné because no one is facing here. No one is pacing. Let's not pace 89. Let's not be dickheads. Attack from Alejandro Alverde. Okay. Interesting. Attack from Mikel Landa, which I cannot follow. Uh, all right, let's measure the gap between Mr. Alaphilippe and Mr. Rigoberto Uran. Uh, measure time gap. There we go. Uh, TJ's gone. TJ has done his job. Mikel, mate, it's your turn. If you want to defend your jersey, it's your job. Not mine. Uh, does anyone have a teammate? No, nah, no one does. Ben Al is still here. And we're going to come back on Alaphilippe. There we go. Come back on the, the green jersey. Can we see? Uh, are we going to see a counter attack? Yep, we are. Garin Thomas counter attacking. That's that's fine by me. You can do whatever you want. Uh, and also slowing down is going to allow the breakaway to uh, reclaim some of uh, some precious seconds in their quest of a W today in Mejev. If no one's pacing, I might as well like genuinely stop, recover energy. That's making the uh, that's that's making good things. Uh, that's good for Michelanda though. That's great for Michelanda. 
All right, let's increase the rhythm with TJ. He's not gonna have a lot of. He's, he doesn't have a lot in the, in the tank, but right, let's let's give it let's give it all we've got. Come on, TJ Van Garderen. I'm seeing potentially an attack from Alejandro Valverde on the right hand side of the road here. Landa, very careful about his Spanish uh, Spaniard uh, compatriots. Is that Dom Dumoulin just completely exploding? We're gonna use the gel. We're not gonna win the stage. I think. Mikel Landa has the GC in the bag. As Romain Bardet win. No, he doesn't. He doesn't. Once again, I've jinxed it. Nery Quintana wins in Megève ahead of Romain Bardet. Garin Thomas finishes in third place. Huge comeback from Garin Thomas. Gregor Milberger, Alexei Lutsenko, Jack Haig, nope, Richie Paul, Jack Haig, Dan Martin, Dominic Podoivo, and Rigobert Turan to complete the top 10. But Mikel Landa who will come in what will be position number 13, is going to be the winner of this 2020 Dauphiné Libéré. Okay, I'll take second. I'll take second place. Honestly, I'll take second. Nero Quintana wins the final set of the Dauphiné in the same time as Roman Bardet. Gary Thomas with a huge comeback. Very, very close from taking that win. He was at 1.3 minutes behind uh, with like 5k to go. And he, he did well to come back just 17 seconds shy. Of the leader of Arkea, Samzik, who uh, redeems the uh, shocking tour of, uh, of Arkea. But Mikel Landa wins the Dauphiné Libéré ahead of Uran, Valverde, Alaphilippe, Kroivac, Pogotar, Bernal, Pino, Miguel Angel Lopez, and Adam Yates. Bernal will be kicking himself for having uh, completely choked on that previous stage. And it's a win for the leader of Baron McLaren. Might have been freed for once. Points wise, uh, sorry, mountain wise, Daniel Martin wins the GC. Uh, 62 points ahead of the 51 from Pudzuivo, the 41 from Tanel Kangat. Yeah, he was just better than me. Green jersey wise, for one point, Julien Lafilippe wins it. I'm so happy to take second again. Yes. La bonne real though, Alaphilippe with two wins. I, I, I got none. Deserved. I feel like I, overall I was the best, I was the most consistent one. But yeah, the, that doesn't that doesn't matter when it comes to the point classification. Tadej Pogacar wins the white jersey, which means that Egan Bernal and Ineos are going to come in with absolutely fuck all, and that's absolutely stupendous. And finally, the best team is the team Jumbo Visma, and we even lost a place to Ineos in the final stage. Thank you, Gary Thomas, for going in the breakaway. I really, really dislike you. Well, I think I I wrapped it up quite well. Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can really say. 141 for the group. Uh, Uran to Pugatar, Buchmann getting dropped, Miguel Angel Lopez getting dropped, interesting. Um, but yeah, did what I could, wasn't enough, wasn't enough. Landa wins ahead of me and Valverde, but overall I'd say it's a decent performance from uh, the boys in pink in this five, uh, five day edition of the Dauphiné. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed that, I had, that we had no wins, but we came close quite, quite often. I think we've got like Second places somewhere. We've got fourth, second, second, third, tenth. And that's a tenth place, knowing that I was first of my group. So, yeah, there's nothing I can really be disappointed about. Uh, and hopefully, you lot aren't disappointed either. Uh, and if you aren't, then please do leave a like down below to uh, congratulate Rico Bell to run on getting second place in this Dauphiné. If you're new here, then please do consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more PCM content uh, for the upcoming races, as I will be doing every UCI race in the calendar. And I shall see you in the very near future. But my name has been Lago. It has been an absolute pleasure talking to you guys. Have a great day and goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold I'm leading. But the mother man need feeding. I don't want to go bombi. Them I don't know what I do when I go from bombi. In the pack in black and I'm on with the bad Snapping with a phone and dab I'll swap them out with a duster Put them in a drip and sip blockbuster